Bro, what in the world just happened, bro? What in the world? So let me get this straight. There was nothing wrong with Caution and C3. There was nothing wrong with Vixen and A-Ward. Bro, the main event go out? Bro, come on, man. God damn, man. Ain't no doggone way. What the hell is going on? You two, Yo, what up, man? Chris, I'm checking back in, man, back with the blog, man. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, way, and I appreciate all the support, man. I'm actually pissed off, man. If I if I didn't lose my voice, I went to a party today. You know, my, my cousin had a party. We was doing a lot of, you know, dancing, yelling, all this kind of stuff, man. A lot of loud talking. If I didn't almost lose my voice, I would be letting y'all know how pissed I am. $50, $65, and the stream ain't right. Remy Ma, let me tell you something right now. Remy Ma, let me tell you. This is the second event. This is the second event. You know what I'm saying? This, I know you learned. I know you're a new lead. This is the second event. And if you want to get out of battle rap as fast as hell, if you want people to turn their back on you in battle rap, do not have people spending their money and they don't get no product. Nobody, nobody believes in you. What are you prepared to do about it? Now, first of all, a lot of y'all probably wondering what's up with the stream. I don't really know what's up with the stream. I was hearing multiple voices. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing avocado them talking. I'm hearing a battle. I'm hearing a whole bunch of stuff going on and it's out and it's back in and it's lagging and it's out and then it's back in. Bro, I don't know what the hell going on. But what I do know is avocado was doing both events, bro. He was doing king of the dot and the, uh, the Chrome joint. And anytime you get a lot of people on the server, man, you got to have a lot of bandwidth. When you don't have stuff like that, you can cause lagging. King of the Dot making $90,000 on a pay-per-view already, like early in the night. So many people were supporting the KOTD event, which was a great thing. Salute to y'all, everybody that supported it. But everybody um, supported the KOTD event. That's causing a lot of bandwidth. Then you got this event. And see, what happens is early on, a lot of people aren't at their computers. Because people are like, oh, the stream started at five, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about caution and C3. I don't really care about the second battle. They trying to get to the computer for the for the important battle. You know what I'm saying? They want to see the main event or they want to see the you know the event before the main event. They don't really care about the, the first event. They might not even care about the Prestavia and official battle. By the time the rest of the night goes on, people are logging in and that bandwidth keeps increasing. And that's why you getting these crashes, bro. So I don't know. Rap grid, y'all gotta get it together. Direct, I rock with you. You hosting you and you and you own rap grid. You one of the owners of rap grid too. So this whole pay-per-view thing, you have got to get this right, Rim. I'm gonna let you know I ain't buying no more pay-per-view. I ain't buying no more. Nobody else can buy some. I ain't buying no more pay-per-view. Screw me once, I can't support you no more. But I gotta see a trend of good pay-per-views before I can buy another pay-per-view. But uh I'm still going to recap the battle, man. God damn. I, I ain't really see the battle. I ain't keep it real with you. I ain't see half the battle. You know what I'm saying? I saw, I saw a little more than half. But um, let me start with Hitman and Easy, man. Let me let me start. There's a lot, a lot I want to say about this battle. First of all, I could tell by the way the night was going, this was going to be a hard crowd. This was going to definitely be a hard crowd. I thought it was smart that they moved from the main event or instead of being the last battle of the night that they moved it up. That's sometimes... Pretty cool because you can get a little restless. So it's like, okay, let me hurry up and get out of there. So I actually like that. Hitman first round. And hold up, before he went, I was thinking, this ain't really a Hitman crowd. I was just, I was just watching the battle. I'm watching all the battle. I'm watching Prestavian official. I'm watching Caution. And I was like, I don't know how Hitman is going to do with this crowd. Like, I don't think this is going to be. He's probably thinking like, oh, I didn't rock out in plenty of New York crowds. I was like, this is a crowd that will probably cater more to easy. I just was feeling that way personally. And I felt like it played out that way. Hitman first round to me was great. I think he, I think his first round isn't appreciated enough. I got to be real with you. His round is dope. Scale to one to 10 round. His first round to me like a nine. I thought the nigga was snapping in the first round. So I like Hitman's first round, but I was like, yo, I don't even know if he could even be better than this in two and three, you know what I'm saying? Because I could just tell, like, he put a lot into that first. I thought it was dope. When you look at the long story short, it won't be easy, bar. The two Jasons 
the dish right um you know, uh, dish right bar he had. Maverick, and don't bring up my close friends. They get the chicks hype. And you the type trying to downplay some shit that you like. The fifth type. Give a fuck if you 4-1 or this hype. It's like I'm asking easy questions. You're going to get this right. And you know the left button. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. The little setup he had with MySpace. Yo, nigga was snapping, bro. You a 34-year-old rookie. Look who I'm facing. Ain't like we never seen him before. I can replace him. All the I done for the culture, they can't erase him. I can get you closer to God. Don't make me mace him. Yeah, you kind of hot right now. Y'all embrace him. But I was popping back when they had the MySpace. I can ride on us, you know. Don't want to waste him. Face shot. Forgot how he looked. They had to trace him. You was looking for him. Easy comes back in the first round. Easy snapping too. I like the way he comes out. He walks all in the middle, walking around the crowd, walking around, hitman, all this kind of stuff. I like invading another nigga's privacy in terms of doing stuff like that, invading their space. I like that. That's battle rap. I like that. I felt like Easy. One thing about him, we don't know if Easy got hands. We don't know if Easy can fight. We don't know nothing about Easy as far as when it comes to being, I mean, we know he's street, but in terms of like really being a, a fighter, but he don't be backing down. He don't back down the goods. He don't back down the hitman. He ain't back down the hitman. Little brother, I like him walking up and hitman. Little brother face talking about, you know, don't get, don't get your brother fucked up. I like all that. So the way he started, I felt set the move. And I could tell immediately, yo, Easy's mic is a lot louder. I don't even know if it's louder or he just talking louder. And this is the thing about going second, bro. And I was feeling like this with the Rosenberg Raw Battle. When you hear a person keep saying, yo, turn me up, turn me up, they can't hear me, turn me up, they can't hear me. When you go, you have to be like, I got to talk louder. I just got to talk louder because my shit may be the same way. So that's just another thing I know. I felt like immediately out the gate, Easy's mic was louder. I don't know why. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. So I'm not going to be like, yo, them niggas made Easy mic louder than Hitman's on purpose. I'm not doing none of that. But at the same time, I still feel like Easy just, when his mic was louder, whether it was him talking louder or he just had the, the louder of the mic. That's what it seemed like to me. Um, and I, so I like the invasion of the privacy. Easy comes out snapping. My shooters come from Tubi. They don't know how to act. That is a crazy bar, bro. Because I come with different stripes. Two truck joints, they got a latch. Pine joint twins, they come attached. If I see you again, bullets hit holler back. My shooters come from Tubi because they don't know how to act. Bro, my laser. <laughs> You don't know what that means. I mean, Tubi is an app. It got a lot of movies. They don't know how to act, meaning that they ain't nothing but a bootleg. A lot of bootleg actors on a movie. Fire, the coke and the popcorn, expensive like we go into the movies. Like that, the alphabet soup. I learned how to read from eating alphabet soup. That's crazy. They recite your bars. My life a quotable. I'm from the root. I'm the nigga who sent them in. If somebody got hit, man, we just hope it's you. Or we could go to Timberland Way. That's 40 below the boot. I mean, the sales got to recover. A week ago, the Timberland way, that's 40 below the boot. I'm talking the sales got to recover. The brain got to regroup. You'll have to learn how to read, eat an alphabet soup. She said, hit me. The, the double, double, crazy. This first round is close, bruh. It's close. I can't be mad if you went with easy in the first round. I ain't going to front. A part of me kind of was leaning towards Hitman, though. Part of me was leaning for towards Hitman. So I, at the end of the round, I was like, maybe Hitman got it. Maybe Hitman got the first. I was really liking what Hitman was saying. I ain't going to front. Hitman comes back in round two. He gets a little bit booed in this round. It was because he got to a bar that was kind of, he set a bar and because it kind of, he didn't go right into his next bar. Niggas thought he choked. You let them people convince you I can't rap like I don't be up here barking. Well, I just wrapped up another million dollar mean. I was in that bitch talking. <laughs> yeah. So. Come on, start that. Don't do that. Don't do that. When it was like, you know how it is when you don't, when you don't get right back into it. And bro, oh, and everything. So that kind of, to me, bro, after that, that was early in his second round. After that, I felt like his whole round, damn near crickets. Damn near crickets, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had Hurricane Dew bars. He had a Comfort Plus where he was scheming about being on an airplane. Thought this shit was fire. It was crickets, though. It was definitely, uh, let me see. I'm trying to look at something. Um, it was definitely crickets. I've been dealing with this 14 years. 
don't know. They can't, they can't hear me. They can't hear me. After that, then the stream went out. So I don't know what else happened in round two. I did not see none of Easy second round. When the stream came back on, uh, Hitman was in his third round. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at the chat. Niggas like one and one going into the third. My homeboys calling me from the venue, texting me or whatever. Like, yo, it's one one going into the third. So I don't know. Maybe they gave Hitman a second and Easy the first. Maybe they gave Hitman a first and Easy the second. The third round, Hitman had a good third, in my opinion. I felt like he... But Hitman's gonna lose this battle, bro. He this is going to be another victory for Easy to Block Captain. And I'm and I haven't even seen the battle, but I'm gonna tell you why. First off, Easy had a pretty good third. You know what I'm saying? Hitman had a good third, even though I felt like he he wasn't getting the love or whatever. Sometimes you can be saying some shit and niggas be like, "Yo, it hey, was he was kind of snapping a little bit at certain times. He wasn't getting a lot of love, but." Easy going second obviously helps him. There's going to be a lot of people that give Easy the first round. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be hard to just say Hitman beat him clearly the next two rounds. So even if they split two and three, it's going to be a lot of people that give Easy the first, a lot of people that give Hitman the first. But this is Hitman's problem, bro. Hitman said this. I've been through this a whole 14 years. Every mic issue he had, he kept saying... I tweeted it out. They gonna hear it on camera. You can't even see it. They gonna hear it on camera. That's what he kept saying. That paperwork they seen, y'all, I would have never had signed. They said I ain't lyrical, but I was always cool with knowing I had a lawyer with a pen better than mine. Yo, Ice Cube, I watch in. I don't, they gonna hear it on camera. They gonna hear it on camera. They gonna hear it on camera. Nigga spit a bar. It's okay. They gonna hear it on camera. Walking around. It's okay. They gonna hear it on camera. I've been through this 14 years. They gonna hear it on camera. Nigga, nigga spit up another bar. Going crazy. Did another spit a bar. Don't like the reaction. No reaction. It's okay. They gonna hear it on camera. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They gonna hear it on camera. I've been through this. I've been through the hate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I've been through the hate, my nigga. I've been through this. I'm, I've been through this 14 years. I've been through this. Spit a bar. It's okay. They gonna hear it on camera. 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 It's okay. They gonna hear it on camera. Bro, every single bar he spit in the third round, he said, they gonna hear it on camera. That right there equates to a lost round for him. If Avocado don't edit that shit out, his round looks choppy, his round looks sloppy. And if Avocado don't cut out that they gonna hear it on camera 35 times, he said in round three, no way he wins the third. Mark my words, no way he wins the third, bro, because it looks bad. Hitman don't even realize how bad it's looking. He keep telling the niggas, they gonna hear, bro, you being recorded, bro. They gonna hear it on camera. They gonna hear it on camera. They gonna hear it on camera. You are being recorded. You better hope they edit that out because that looks very, very bad. And we have seen a lot of time, man, when people be talking, man. Remember that eating that shit when he was going through the whole thing? He was there, yeah, man. I'm gonna talk. Yo, that fucked up clips, man. I'm gonna talk to Norbs about that. All that stuff was picked up on camera. You know what I'm saying? Bro, if they don't edit this out, I don't see how Hitman can win because his third round is two bar. Say a bar, stop. Say a bar, stop. Say a bar, stop. Easy. When I was watching Easy go, he was getting a little, he wasn't, he wasn't going crazy like he was doing in the first round, but he was flowing more. His round had more continuity to it. Bro, we shot for couples too. If y'all item, we put hit on bitches too. If you wife them, and we can't save her. If everything in this gun based on true events, you get to watch disclaimer. I'm a competitor. And the stream cut off again. So I think he's going to win this battle personally. Um, we're going to see, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to prejudge it. I don't want to prejudge it because I ain't see it. So I don't think that's fair. But from what I saw, it's going to look like he won a third. It's going to look like he won a third. And my homeboy in the building, he told me, he said, yo, I'm going to keep it real with you. If I just was looking at the bars, he was like, I probably, I kind of feel like um, Hitman won. But the consensus in here is that easy one. That's what he told me. Another thing that um, if you do have Hitman winning, a lot of stuff Easy said sometimes doesn't really apply. Like if I tell you like, yo, you know, the way we made the coke stretch, it was like this. And, you know, we had so much white, it's like this. 
By the time he do all that, it's like, what does that got to do with Hitman? I'm just being real. What does that got to do with Hitman? It's like you telling a drug story and it's dope and it's fire and it's this and it's this and it's this and it's this. But what does that have to do with your opponent? That is the one criticism. Hitman was very direct in his battle. He was very direct. I didn't really, I wasn't feeling too much of the storytelling stuff he got. He went into this storytelling thing in the third round. Like I was at Hit Easy's grandma house and it was just, I don't know. That's it. You know, I get it. <laughs> when you was battling Cortez back in the day and you was like, yo, I went to your granny house. And, you know, we put the we put the tip on the plate. Like when he was going crazy with Cortez, that was cool. Then didn't translate that well now. Did not translate that well now. So I don't know how this battle is going to play out, man. But unfortunately, we ain't, we ain't get to see the battle. And I'm very disappointed, bro. I'm not going to even hold you. I, I didn't completely log out. I don't give a fuck what happened with Hustle. And uh, Shuni, I don't even care. I'm like, ain't no way. We saw Caution, we saw Official, and we saw A-War. And now the stream don't want to work? I mean, come on, bro. That don't even make no sense, bro. Ain't no damn way that didn't make no sense. Let me go over the rest of the battles. Caution in C3. This was, uh, I knew right away, man. Caution came out. I did not like the way Caution came out. She came out too slow. She came out body sh shaming Talking about C3's appearance. I'm like, bro, that is not the way to go. Caution, you are not the most attractive person in the world. I don't want to disrespect you because you a female. I don't want to talk about your looks. But you, the last person, need to be shamming somebody on looks. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like that was another bad way to come out. It's slow. You know what I'm saying? And if, I, if I'm if i being honest, bro, you know what I'm saying? If I'm being honest, I think... Caution to me. If I wrote the bars down, her bars were better. If I if I write the bars down, I kind of feel like maybe her bars was better. The consensus don't want me to win. I've been hearing the chat. I know three is prime and odd for that matter. But the fact is, if I back her in enough times to where three won't matter, meaning let's be simplified. If my goal number was high enough, I won't need to increase the times. Just take three out of the equation by using that. Or, oh, or, oh, or, oh, oh, oh. what? C3 had a better delivery, better performance, mid-round rebuttal, freestyle about this little fake-ass fight they had on, on the side. She did more. And I don't feel like bars tell the whole story. That's why C3, that's why I said, it's crazy that you can make a case that Caution might have outbar her all three rounds and she's going to lose. She could lose clearly all three rounds. And I said, I don't, need, I don't even remember a battle like this in a long time where someone just could possibly have won bar for bar, but clearly lose all three rounds. And then you got the 3-0 chance and all that kind of stuff. I thought it was um, an okay battle at best. It wasn't anything crazy. I thought just to start the event off, I didn't really think the battle was that fire. And considering that they had over two months to write for the battle, they didn't really take any battles before, even though you did have... Um, Caution battle QB or whatever, but I felt like they had more than enough time to write. This battle been set up, I think, since last year or something, or or, or end of last year or something. This battle been set up for a while, so they had plenty of time to prepare for this battle. I thought both of them could have gave you more, been better. That's what I thought. I didn't. I didn't. I felt this, that battle was pretty weak, bro. Caution and C three was pretty weak in my opinion, but I do have C three. Um, you know, winning a battle. Prestavia and Official. I picked Official to win a battle because I felt like big stage Official does her thing. I felt like Prestavia might be a little overhyped. And I felt like with the Jazz explosion, Official kind of needed to keep pace. KCJ beat Arsenal. Um, Jazz beat Vixen. It's like, okay, Official, what's up with you? Are you the, the worst Bardashian out of the three now? Or whatever, where are you at? And Prestavia got busy, bro. Prestavia got absolutely busy in the first round. She had the cold feet bar. That, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? She had the RIP Pat stay looking down on you bar. She was rapping like Lou Castro. She was going crazy there. Go ball, queen. Nigga, not everybody's a gangster that say they hold heat or pole squeeze. I done seen parallel universes in close reach. Knew a nigga that pulled his pistol and still got sent to the morgue. He backed out and got cold feet. If it wasn't... <laughs> Official had a pretty good first round too. I don't what she say. I don't need a gun title to kill bitches. That was actually fire. That was that was fire. All these gun boys.
wants Cause the nigga she with make her feel vicious That's why she went from God loving to shoot him up bang bang You acting real different, you from Brooklyn You can't even have a pistol, it'll be a sound that your kids visit I'm from New Orleans, it's open carry What that mean? I don't need a gun title to kill bitches <laughs> But Pristava comes back. She has the fourth K bar, which was damn near a haymaker. Um, you know, official had to. Uh, <laughs> bro, this is what I knew the crowd. I mean, I knew the crowd was gonna be was bad when in the caution battle when caution wasn't getting no reaction. Official wasn't getting no reaction either. The the, the cuffing bar that she had. If I wanted to get what she say, if I wanted to uh to get cuffed, I would have got, I would have got, I would have joined the titles or something, or something like, I would have got a title or whatever, playing off the gun title thing. It was, cr it was crickets, crickets, no reaction at all. She had a chest bar, like, even if you join a group, you, you'll never have a chest like me. She had some good stuff, but she clearly lost. You might can give official one of these rounds out of three, but she clearly lost two rounds out of three. So that was that battle. Good win for Prestavia. And I feel like this battle for me solidified Prestavia, in my personal opinion. I saw Prestavia beat Yoshi. I saw Prestavia battle, I think, Fonz in the tournament or something. But this battle right here, she battled a top girl in battle rap, bro. Official is a top female in battle rap. She battled her, and now it's like, okay. Not only did she battle her, I felt like Official still had breathing issues. She still had, like, issues pacing herself. She's rapping way too fast, not allowing her punches to set up. Prestavia looking more like a vet than official. Official just got those kind of things that she got to work out. Um, but yeah, good win for Prestavia. Then I said, sword, blow, star, angel. That's four different fish. And if she say I sound like Sue, she lying. I've been raw before I joined Waves. Then I said, joint, hover, JC, Farrell. In case y'all ain't know, that's four different things. And they all G's. I just did a quadruple entendre with Kim, Kylie, and Chloe. All we need is the fourth K. Then you had A Ward and Vixen. Um, Vixen had Vixen got smoked. I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even hold you. A Ward kind of clearly won his battle. Vixen had some nice stuff here and there. A Ward was just too much. He had a good second. Vixen's third round about oh why are you battling on uh, Chrome Twenty Three when you're supposed to be battling on KOTD. She had this long setup about how, like, you came up on KOTD, but you're not on the Pat State card. You're on Chrome 23 because Remy is paying you and you didn't want to do a free event. It was way too drawn out by the time she got to the punchline. I was daylight, Howard the Dawn, Arsenal, Disaster, and Pat State. Well, y'all bump. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Nah, nah, let it run. Let it run. Back in the day, didn't you say your time? was daylight, hollow the dawn, arsenal, disaster, and pack state. Well, in the daylight, didn't it dawn on you that this arsenal was a disaster? Because why the fuck you up here with Remy and not KOTD on pack day? You use leagues? <laughs> what? Pack them. And to me, A-Ward just had shit like when A-Ward, like to see a Christian talk about a girl's body in like a provocative way is always like kind of shocking when you think of like what they stand for when you think of like a preacher or whatever so for him to be like oh you know you got a nice ass you know a nice butt or whatever they grade you on a cur on a curve Assassin, you're a mother sex sells that's why she gets plates she don't deserve i'm gonna repeat myself one time on stage because it's absurd she basic with the words it's the cakes that they observe so of course her entire career is graded on a curve I That's always gonna hit in a building. When I, I mean, bars like that, I was just like, it's, it's, it's a rap for it for Vixen. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a rap. Like she just can't do enough. And um, I'm not surprised. I pick coming off that big K bout. I knew A Ward wasn't gonna play. I knew he was not gonna play. So I knew Vixen. Vixen got a lot of losses now, bro. Yeah, I mean, she got jazz. She got this battle. I feel like, I don't know, her last couple battles just ain't been it. They just have not been it. I don't know what it is. But yeah, that's the card, man. I did not see the hustle battle. I, I'm not even logged in. I don't even know if the stream is, is working anymore. I don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to do this recap, call it a night. But Remy, you got to get your shit together, Remy. You have got to get your shit together. Do not be selling on pay-per-view. $65. $65 is a lot of money. I ain't going to lie. For pay-per-view, is a lot. You ain't have a five battles on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but five, $65, could have got you six. 
So a six five dollars was kind of that's more than what URL be charging for gnome and summer madness event. It wasn't no summer madness card, but I still support you because you wanted a few people to put stuff on YouTube. So now it's almost like we trying to support pay per views strictly because they still YouTube family. But you know you got to get the stream right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to y'all trying to do a little too much. You're trying to do the KOTD event and you trying to do this event. You got a little too much shit going on, and then you don't understand the bandwidth and the importance. And I'm not saying Avocado don't understand it because he's been doing this for a while, but sometimes you can be overwhelmed by stuff. That's why it's hard to support new events, bro. You got Keen Bar and Daylight, Jazz and 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 uh and uh RX and all them battles out there. Another stream. They gonna sell pay-per-view too, and it's gonna be like, oh, here comes some new niggas trying to do pay-per-view. And it's like you don't even want to support it because too many pay-per-views be crashing, lagging, or just completely going out. And I ain't with it no more. I ain't buying no more pay per views, bro. I keep it. I ain't buying no more. Fuck that shit. I ain't, I ain't buying. No more. That's it. That's it over with. Chris Un Wyatt's Fires. Wyatt. Man, subscribe to the channel, man. Don't be a hater your whole life. 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 Chris Fires.